brutish assault by all of winter's weapons. Temperatures of minus 30 made snow dry and light. High winds whipped the white stuff into white outs. The perfect blizzard. Coming from uh, Halifax, anything can happen. It's absolutely insane. Even in this tough old town with a history of shrugging off storms, this was considered a thug. Closures kept many streets quiet and most people home. Those who did venture out found visibility cut to nothing. Some coastal routes were washed out by sea ice. At the airport, flights grounded. The dance of the shovels performed by the chorus line of winter. And on the roads, 200 plows pushed snow aside again and again. With this wind, it tends to blow back in. So as fast as we're plowing it, Mother Nature's pushing it back in. Buses stopped running, so did police vehicles. The nor'easter dumped 40 centimeters of snow. The track of the low is actually about a couple hundred kilometers off the coast of Nova Scotia, and it's tracking off towards the north and east. So we're actually on the back side of the low, where the colder air is. Before even hitting Newfoundland, the power supply was maxed out, forcing the hydro utility to cut power to customers without warning. Street lights and traffic signals went out. It wasn't darkened lights, but black ice blamed for pileups and commuter chaos in Toronto and Ottawa. This on the busy Gardner Expressway. From the prairies to Quebec, not much snow, but oh, that cold. Wind chill in the minus 40 range shattered temperature records in some towns. One couple nearly burned down their house trying to thaw frozen pipes. The high winds remain, but the snow is gone. The blizzard now over Newfoundland and Labrador. Even the cold snap is supposed to snap, but, and this will not make me very popular, Graham, forecasters warn it's short-lived. Another ugly dose of winter is not far behind. Todd Battis sporting his best storm wear for us in Halifax tonight. Thanks, Todd.